Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. So today we're going to be looking at geometry, but our main focus under geometry will be to introduce the deductive reasoning that we use in the geometry that we are going to be looking at. So in this lesson, we're going to be introducing the deductive reasoning, what it, what it is all about, the reasons that we use whenever we are using the deductive reasoning and some concepts under this geometry that we're going to be focusing on. So let's jump, jump right into it. All right, so when we talk about the concept of Euclidean geometry, there are a lot of things that you're going to be considering, right? Mainly you're going to focus on the deductive reasoning, but there's also some theorems you're going to be throwing in there at a later stage to try and prove what we are talking about. But before that, let's talk about the origin of this Euclidean geometry that we are talking about. So there was a very intelligent gentleman called Euclid who was a Greek mathematician who lived in the fourth, the fourth century before Christ. So he's often called the founder of geometry because really everything that has to do with geometry, he's the one who actually made all those theorems. Now, Euclid pu published a set of 23 definitions on which all of our theorems are based in, right? And that's where we're drawing all of this information we're going to try and talk about now. Euclid also used the definitions, the axioms, the theorems to create a deductive system which we use to solve all geometry problems that we have in math. But now, the key terminology that you need to be familiar with is what an axiom is, right? So this will just be a rough statement. Rough statement, why am I calling it rough? Because we don't have any proof of what we are making a statement of, right? So this is a claim. In the universe, if I say A is equals to B, that is just a statement. I'm starting something that if I go to the theorem, which will be the process I'm going to use to try and prove this statement of mine, then what will that require will require the deductive reasoning that we're going to use. So we make a statement first, we undergo a certain process to try and prove that particular statement, and that process requires the deductive reasoning that Euclid was actually very interested in. So our main focus is this deductive reasoning. Now, before we can even talk about the deductive reasoning, because this is going to be coming up a lot of times, we need to first talk about what equality is, right? Equality would simply mean that things are same in value, right? Same in value. It can be an angle, it can be a distance, it can be a length, as long as one thing is equal to something else, meaning it is the same value as something else, that's what we're going to be talking about. Now, this deductive reasoning of ours, we start with the starting statement, right? I said, this is our axiom, right? Because there is no proof that A is equals to B. Why? Because we don't know what A is. We also don't know what B is. But if we were to add the same amount on either side of this particular equality, then we know that the result will also be the same, right? Just a typical example, although I don't want you to be thinking numbers more than anything. If I had 20 degrees and 20 degrees there as my A and B, if I add the same number 5 and 5 there, surely this is going to give me the same value on either side of the equal sign. So that's what we are trying to say here, that if I add the same amount, to the inequality on either side, then the result will also be the same. Another thing would then be if I wanted to subtract now from both sides of the inequality, or of the equality, I mean, the result is also going to be equal. So, meaning if I subtract P on both sides, my result will still be the same. And you can even use numbers to try and prove this to yourself. If I have also certain lines being equal to other lines, right? A, B, this is a length, is equal to P, Q, that's a length as well. This is a length, that is a length. Then, when equal values are added 
to or subtracted from this equality, the result is also equal. Now, guys, all of this that I'm trying to make you understand is, if I have a starting statement of claiming that two things are equal to each other, then if I add something else, right, but that something must be the same on either side or subtract the same thing on either side from the initial thing that I said, this is equal to this, then it means my result will also be the same. So if I add five and five, because initially this was equal to this, this and that will both have five added to it. And when I keep on saying this, I don't want us to mainly focus on numbers, guys, because then you're going to try and create numbers whenever you are trying to prove this using de uh, deductive reasoning. So please just don't try and look at numbers as yet. We are just looking at a line segment, an angle, another line segment, another angle, a certain constant that we are adding or subtracting. So that's what I want you to be focusing on mainly. Now, to show you what I'm talking about here, A plus B, right? So I am adding AB, rather, plus BC. And I know that AB, I was told that this is equals to PQ. So it means this is the same as me having PQ plus, right? I was told that BC is equals to QR. So this will be PQ plus QR. Why? Because of the very first axiom that we had, which we always said is the starting statement. So as a result, this is what I will have. Now also, since I know what AB is, which is my PQ, I'm subtracting, right? Because this must link with that. I am subtracting BC, which I also know that this is QR. So it means this can be the same as B, uh, PQ minus QR. And then that's how it will therefore become. All right, so one other example as well of this concept of deductive reasoning is if I have A being equal to B, angle A that is equal to angle B, and also angle A being equal to angle P, right? This can be in two different shapes, it can be in one shape, it does not really matter. This therefore simply means that B will also be equal to P because both of them are equal to the angle A. As a result, angle B is equal to angle P. And that's how you can then look at the concept of deductive reasoning. Now we also just try and throw in other examples of what we are talking about with the deductive reasoning. And I know that this might be a lot of letters and all of that that we are trying to use. We're going to use this in terms of the reference to the questions that we're going to try and look at. If my starting statement is PQ is equal to QR, also I know that AB is equal to PQ and BC is equal to QR. It therefore means that AB is also equal to BC based on the initial statement that my PQ and Q, QR need to be equal to each other. So is there any relationship between AB and BC? That's what you need to think about. And because I knew, right, that PQ was equal to QR, now I'm being told that this AB is equal to PQ, and this P BC that I now have is equal to the QR that I originally knew. Then I can be able to answer this question of mine of whether there is a relationship between the AB and the BC. So as a result, that's what I will then say, that all of these line segments are equal to each other, all four of them, by the way. Now, as a result, you can deduce it to only being A, B, and B, C. All right, so that's what deductive reasoning is all about. The concept of deductive reasoning is all about having a statement that is starting based on the statement. And I am now to told other things, right? I go back to the statement as my basis of the whole argument I'm going to try and make with these additional things that they throw in my way and then I try and make a decision based on that. 
But remember, you cannot make a decision in mathematics or in geometry to be specific without giving me a reason. But what I want us to do now is to take a quick ad break. When I come back, I will then show you how we're going to apply all of this to try and solve questions that have to do with proving and solving uh, for angles and lengths. But for now, please stay tuned. I'll be back just now. Mm -hmm.